Welcome to the Royal Road School of Carmelite Prayer. We are listening to a talk given by Father Marie Laurent, a Carmelite friar in France, and the talk is entitled An Act of Faith. So he gives the example of Revelations 3.20 as being an act of faith. The verse says, I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone opens to me, I will come in and dine with him and he with me. So I open the door. In other words, I accept to believe the Lord comes in. The meal is a reciprocal relationship, a two-way street with the Lord. The meal nourishes me. The meal transforms me. So an act of faith depends on my own initiative. Then God can take over. I decide if I choose to believe or make an act of faith, God will give me the strength to do so. The general capacity to do so is given to me at baptism. An act of faith is not necessarily comfortable. It's an act of my soul and so can have repercussions in my body. It can be painful because of spiritual combat or because an act of faith is supernatural. God can come in a strong and very close way. If I'm not used to it, it can be uncomfortable. So prayer time can sometimes be a struggle. St. John of the Cross has a celebrated formula He states that faith is the only way in my control to enter union with God. The only way to enter a relationship with God. Faith is the only, the unique way for me to obtain grace and achieve union with God. So if faith is the only door to mystical life, what will I do? Well, St. Teresa of Avila, who lived from 1515 to 1582, strove to live constantly in the presence of God within her. For 12 years, she spent time in the parlor with a courtesan, a boyfriend. She converted through God's grace and began having mystical experiences. Recollection was the name Teresa gave to the exercise of the act of faith that changed her life. She was told that Jesus was next to her or within her and that she should consider, in other words, make an act of faith. She should consider him. She should turn her interior attention to him. She should look at him with the eyes of the soul. This is an act of faith. She was in the country at the time uh, with a book. The book was entitled The Third Spiritual Alphabet, written by Asuna, a Franciscan. She would practice what it said two hours a day, morning and night. She would turn towards Jesus within her, and when she did, Jesus would come to her. She didn't see anything. Jesus gave himself to her, and this transformed her. She started noticing little flowers of virtue. She was becoming more patient, better able to tolerate her illness. She was completely paralyzed at the time, except for the little finger on her right hand. She was a talker, and too much talking leads to gossip. She decided not to say anything bad about anyone who wasn't there. Jesus granted her this virtue. The grace of God transformed her. Teresa made the connection between prayer without ceasing and recollection. The Carmel's Rule of Albert instructs one to stay next to one's cell and to practice prayer or meditate on the law of God day and night. 
prayer without ceasing is the heart of Carmelite life. Teresa wondered, however, how she could practice prayer without ceasing with all of her responsibilities. She realized, though, that she could practice prayer without ceasing by always being attentive to Jesus. It transformed her. She discovered an intimate relationship with Christ that we all are made for through recollection, in other words, in turning towards Christ during the day. She always strove to be attentive to him. What he did for Teresa, he will do for you. Amen. So at this point in his talk, he recommended a book entitled The Life of Jesus of Teresa of Avila, The Life of Teresa of Avila, written by Marcel Auclair, A-U-C-L-A-I-R, and it has been translated into English. It's a great, uh, Marcel Auclair uh, grew up in um, Chile of French parents, and so she was perfectly bilingual, and she translated Teresa's works from, from Spanish into French, and she wrote this little book on Teresa, the life of Teresa of Avila. It's like a little story, and it's um, very fun to read, easy to read. So I hope this blesses you, and may God bless you and yours. Amen.